We'd like to say welcome to everybody for being here. We, we have in the room, uh, well, let me say, uh, we, we have convened in Addis Ababa now here at the headquarters of the African Union uh, to begin uh, a discussion uh, between the, the government of Sudan and the delegation is here uh, with JAM <coughs> and that delegation is here and the SLM, SM, SLA Miniminawi uh, <coughs> to deal with the question of uh, uh, ending the war in uh, uh, or the conflict in, in Darfur. This is our opening session. We'd like to say uh, a very warm welcome indeed to all, all three delegations. Uh, <clears throat> we are, of course, we are the panel of the AU dealing with uh, Sudan and South Sudan, but uh, in this instance we are working together with uh, the Special Representative of the Secretary General of the UN, uh, Haile Mankarios, um, with uh, Ambassador Lisan Ioannis, who is uh, representing IGAD, <coughs> uh, Ambassador Bashwa next to me here, who is the acting head of UNAMID. Um, and of course, uh, our parent is sitting with us here. This is the director of the Department of Peace and Security at the, here at the, at the African Union. <coughs> um, when, uh, <coughs> when President Bashir uh, announced at the beginning of this year, that uh, we put out his call that the people of Sudan need to get together uh, in a national dialogue really to look at all of the challenges facing Sudan and together uh, to see what solutions to find. We, we were very, as a panel, we were very excited about that because indeed we had been discussing this matter uh, with the government for some time <clears throat> of the need to to have that kind of comprehensive look at, at the challenges facing the country. As I say, we're, we're indeed very happy that uh, the President made that call, including, including what he said concerning the need to ensure that that process was inclusive. And in detailing what he meant <clears throat> by an inclusive process, of course mentioned that uh, uh, the armed movements need to be part of that dialogue. And we are very happy indeed, indeed that uh, the armed movements themselves uh, were of the same view. And indeed, in their earlier interactions with us, they had been insisting on this, that what was required was uh, a holistic solution uh, to, the, to the challenges facing Sudan, that uh, a piecemeal solution uh, wouldn't work. So to that extent, it was clear that there was agreement about the need between the government and themselves. There was indeed need <coughs> for the kind of inclusive national dialogue which uh, uh, President Bashir uh, uh, called for. And so in that context, it's been, of course, very important that uh, all the necessary steps should be taken to, to create uh, whatever are necessary conditions to ensure that participation by everybody uh, in the national dialogue, including, including the armed movements. And in that context, it's therefore been important that uh, <coughs> everything should be done to uh, basically to end all of these uh, violent conflicts around the country. And in the two areas, uh, Blue Nile and South, South Kordofan and, and in Darfur, uh, to ensure that indeed you create this condition, this situation of peace throughout the country, uh, so to facilitate that national dialogue, including the participation uh, of, of everybody involved in, in that conflict. It's in that context that we are meeting therefore here this evening, and we'll be meeting over the next few days, uh, to look at what needs to be done with regard to the conflict in Darfur. I think everybody is familiar here with what uh, the government of Sudan and the SPLM North have been doing 
uh, in an interaction that they've had for some time, which is continuing, um, <clears throat> again to address the matter of the conflict uh, in, in the two areas, with a view that uh, <clears throat> both these processes of uh, ending the conflict, the conflicts in the two areas and in, in, in Darfur, that those conflicts must proceed forward as it really one process, but in two streams, uh, in two tracks, <clears throat> but in the end to arrive at uh, the cessation of hostilities, uh, permanences, fire, and all of that. Uh, but I'm saying fundamentally, really, to sh make sure certainly that the conflict ends, because clearly it's imposed very heavy burdens uh, on the people directly involved, but also on the population of Sudan generally. And that there can't be anybody, I would imagine, in Sudan who would benefit from the continuation of, of these conflicts, and therefore, really, they do need to end. But also of great importance to make sure that uh, uh, the people, as I was saying, who are involved in the conflicts do participate in that, in that national dialogue. So <clears throat> that's why we, I was saying we are meeting here today to, to kick off this process of negotiation between the government and, and the two movements from Darfur, so that we look at what needs to be done in Darfur to end that, that conflict. We are, <clears throat> we are indeed very hopeful that uh, the, uh, all, of the, all of us who will be engaged in this will we'll do our best to, to try and move this process forward. Because again, as I was saying, as a panel and uh, indeed all of us, UN, uh, IGAD, our parent body, the African Union, all of us, UNAMID, uh, uh, they are quite concerned, <clears throat> are quite convinced that uh, indeed there is nobody who would uh, uh, willingly want any conflict to continue. It, it surely can't benefit anybody. Uh, <clears throat> plus, the, this, this opportunity uh, uh, that has now been opened up in Sudan is, very, is clearly very important for the future of the country. But it's, 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 I must say this also that it's important also for the region and the continent. Um, the, there's a lot of focus on Sudan, a lot of focus ev everywhere in the world, not just within Africa, uh, on, on ending these conflicts. And indeed, there was great excitement when President Bashir made the call for the national dialogue uh, and people supporting this. Because I think everybody could see that indeed what, what the armed movements have been raising about the, the need for a holistic solution, that this was the correct way to go. So <clears throat> we, we therefore really do wish the participants in these uh, negotiations here, yeah, we wish them well, convinced as I was saying that everybody would be very interested that indeed we, 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 we end this conflict. Uh, as, as the others are working to end the conflict in the two areas, uh, let's, let's end all of these conflicts uh, so that indeed it lasts, it opens the way for all the Sudanese to get together to say what has gone wrong in the past, what is it that we need to do to make sure that that doesn't recur, and what kind of Sudan do we want to build. Uh, this, this indeed is, I think, an, an important opportunity.